Hey, what is up guys, MKBHD here, and this is the iPhone 11. So it's a solid improvement over the iPhone XR in a couple ways. Uh, it's a bit cheaper than the Pros now, it's got a price drop, so this is the new iPhone that most people should buy. That was easy. Too easy, actually. That this Everything about this phone is so easy. Like, it's gonna be super easy to review because there's so few things, but such obvious things that are different from the 10R. And of course, this is a super easy phone for Apple to make. And so this is a super easy phone to recommend. Maybe this is the easiest video I've ever had to make, but probably not. Let's just get into it. So the design is very familiar with this one because it's the same as the 10R and the 10S and the 10. Same shape, same notch, same size as the 10R. It's still a pretty big phone. Same mute switch, same speakers, same aluminum rails, same lightning port, same LCD display with the 1792 by 828 resolution that has us all questioning a lot of things like not being able to watch HD YouTube videos on a $700 phone, but hey, people other than reviewers didn't seem to mind a lot last year. Same water resistance, same IP68, same buttons. You get the idea. So, okay, what is new? First of all, the name. So they're calling it just iPhone 11. So it's the de facto standard name now. And that also means they're dropping the Roman numerals, which is also probably fine because we all know a couple people that just called it the X over and over. That's okay. And the iPhone 11 has six new colors. So black, green, yellow, purple, red, and white. And they're all more pastel-y, so like the product red this year is a little lighter than the product red from last year. I personally liked the color choices of last year's 10R more, actually. I think the blue was pretty nice, the coral was really unique, but those are all gone now. But I guess there's still a little bit of a something for everyone. If you are looking to get a little closer to that stealth midnight green look, but don't want to spend the money on the 11 Pro, you could always grab a dark green skin from our channel sponsor, Dbrand, and boom, you got yourself a stealthy new iPhone for $715 instead of 1,000. I will, of course, always drop a link right below that like button. But if you rock your phone naked like me, you will notice there are two different glass finishes on the back of the iPhone 11. There's glossy, like normal, across the back where the Apple logo is now in the middle instead of slightly north of the middle. Uh, but the camera square is actually a matte glass finish now. So the opposite of the 11 Pro, which did a matte phone and a glossy camera square. And you might have already known that, but what you might not know is that they're all cut from one piece of glass that's milled down to cut the shape out of it and then two different finishes. So that's pretty cool, no matter what you think of the shape. And then we'll get to, of course, these cameras in a second. Uh, but the size and the thickness and weight are exactly the same as the 10R. So it's still 8.3 millimeters thick still 194 grams according to Apple's site, but you do now have a battery life that according to Apple is one hour longer than the iPhone XR. Now again, I don't measure battery the same way Apple does, um, but the iPhone XR already had some of the best battery life in any iPhone in a really long time. And it was the reason that a lot of people who got it kept it and switched to it. Uh, so I can confirm that the 11 has at least equivalent battery life to the XR um, as it should now that it has a more efficient a 13 Bionic. So then, the only other thing that's new is the cameras. And this is easily the biggest new thing about these. So there's a new main camera and they've added a second camera to the iPhone 11 and it's the ultra wide. So you now get dual cameras and all the awesome features that come with it, like switching between lenses while recording video. So you get 4K video from the regular and from the ultra wide camera. Um, iPhone 11 does portrait mode now with more than just human faces, so it doesn't have to detect a face to do the fake shallow depth of field with animals and objects and other things like that. And there's also a new wider front-facing camera that can take slow, uh, slow motion videos. It can take slow motion selfie videos if you want to. Uh, so the only thing that's missing is you don't get the third telephoto camera from the iPhone 11 Pro. That's not a huge deal to me. Uh, and both of these two new included cameras are excellent. They're A-plus smartphone cameras in 2019. I do go into more detail on the photo and video quality in the iPhone 11 Pro review for these new cameras, so if you wanna check that out, I'll link it below. But suffice to say, this is the best camera in a $700 smartphone. Debatably, arguably the best in any smartphone, but I still think it's sort of a toss up with the Pixel 3. But then again, this has the ultra wide camera that the Pixel 3 doesn't but also the Pixel 4, depending on when you watch this, is right around the corner. So we'll get to the full camera comparison when they all come out, but for now, if you want a great camera 
this is a great camera. And then they changed the price. They dropped the price. So iPhone 11 now starts at, and this is for 64 gigs, and I think most people, or a lot of people, should upgrade from that, but it starts at, 700 bucks now, which sort of fits nicely in this gradient of iPhone prices that Apple has created now that they've kept around the 10R from last year for cheaper and the iPhone 8 for even cheaper. And that is pretty much everything you need to know that's new with this iPhone 11. Easy. iPhone 11 is an iPhone 10R with a slightly new design, new cameras with an extra camera on the back, a slightly better battery, and a new chip. That's it. Now the question is, do you recommend it? And I think the easy answer is, yeah, this is the iPhone that most people should get. But for a little more nuance, I think you should really ask yourself two questions. One, how much do you really care about the quality of this screen? The biggest weakness of this phone is definitely still the display. And again, a lot of people won't even notice. And the YouTube app, I noticed, even lies to you and lets you pick 1080p as if you're watching a 1080p video, but you're not. It's, like I said, just over 720p. So if you look at the iPhone XR display or if you look at this iPhone 11 in a store and you can tell it's not sharp or you really value a great display and you know it, I'd say pick one of the high resolution OLED iPhones, the 10s or the 11 Pro. And then the other, number two, is just the size. How do you feel about the size of this phone? I actually really like that the iPhone 11 Pro is a relatively compact smartphone by today's standards anyway. Um, so if you look at like the 6.1 inch screen size and it's actually too big, if you've handled an iPhone 11 or 10R, uh, then you could go for the slightly smaller, better display in the iPhone 11 Pro, which will cost you more, but it's smaller. Or if you think it's not big enough, you can go for the bigger iPhone 11 Pro Max. Oh, and there's another one actually, which is just, are you on a budget? Which just generally will put a lot of people in the camp of buying the cheaper iPhone, but combo breaker, they are still selling iPhone 8 and iPhone 10R, and I think iPhone 10R at 600 bucks is more competitive if you don't care about the second camera or the camera upgrade. Small group of people, but if you have to get an iPhone, that's one to consider. But that is pretty much it. They did it. They made an iPhone 11 that's easy to recommend, and it's the new iPhone that people buying a new iPhone should probably just get. Um, but that's what happens when you make some improvements on one of your most popular products, and drop the price a bit, and rename it to just the de facto iPhone. But I also can't let you forget, the weight of the 2020 iPhone is heavy on the horizon. And it's definitely too early to get excited for that. It's another year away for that phone, but that's where I'm looking. Either way, thanks for watching this super easy video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.